Hi everybody. Let us understand events and event handlers in JavaScript. An event is something that happens when user interact with the web page. Such as when we click a link or a button, entered a text into an input box or a text area, or if we are pressing any key on the keyboard, move the mouse pointer or submit any form. In some cases, the browser itself can trigger the events such as the page load and on unload events. When an event occur, you can use a JavaScript event handler to detect them and perform specific tasks or a set of tasks. There are several ways to assign an event handler. The simplest way is to add them directly to the start tag of the HTML using a special event handler attributes. In general, the events can be categorized into four main groups. So there are four main groups of event handlers. So one is what we call it as a mouse event. Mouse event. So whatever you do, whatever you do with your mouse, that changes will happen. Okay, that is what we call it as a mouse event. Next is a keyboard event. So if you do something with your keyboard, some event should happen. So that is what the keyboard event. Next one is the form events. And the fourth one is what the document or windows event. So we will discuss about the mouse event today. So let us understand what role the various mouse events we have. A mouse event is triggered when the user clicks some e element, move the mouse pointer over an element, etc. So the important mouse events are like on click. So the on click event occurs when a user clicks on an element on a web page. Often these are form elements and the links. You can handle a click event with an on click event handler. So this is what the on click event handler. We call it as an event handler. So the next second one is on context menu, which means that usually we use our left mouse button to click or to select something. But if a right mouse if you want to create an event for the right mouse button, then you have to use on context menu. Okay, so the context menu event occurs when a user clicks the right mouse button on an element to open a context menu. You can handle this using an on context menu event handler. So this we call it as what event handlers. Okay, these are all mouse event handlers because it is handling all these events right so we have to call it as a mouse event handler and the next one in mouse event handler we have is like on mouse over so the mouse over event occurs when a user moves the mouse pointer over an element that is you are moving your mouse pointer you are trying to hover over some element on mouse out so on mouse out event occurs when a user moves the mouse pointer outside of an element so these are all the four important event handlers in that is mouse event handlers So next, if you talk about the keyboard event handlers. So the keyboard event handlers, we have on key down. So we can see that on key down means if you, the, if the key down event occurs when the user presses down a key on the keyboard. If we press some key on the keyboard, this event will happen. On key up as in another keyboard event handler where if the 
user releases a key on the keyboard, this on key up will happen. So on key press event occurs when a user presses down a key on the keyboard that has a character value associated with it. For example, for example, if you are uh, clicking control or shift or alt or escape or any other arrow keys, that is, this will not generate a key press event, but will generate a key down or key up event. Okay, like see the key press key down key up event will generate what like control shift alt these things if you press down this will happen okay shift control if you use control if you use shift if you use alt that is other than the key right because usually we will uh, use the combination of two keys if you are using a control if you are using a shift or if you are using an alt or if you are using an escape or any arrow buttons okay so the key press event occurs up, that is this will not happen that is if you press a control it will be considered as a key down event okay So these are all keyboard events handler. So next is the form event handler. So the form event handler, you can uh, use the on focus. So on focus event occurs when the user gives the focus to an element on a web page. If you just focus on it, then the on focus event will happen and on blur event on blur event will occur when the user takes the focus away from the form element if you are trying to move away from the form element then on blur event will happen and the third one is on change okay so on change event occurs when a user changes the value of a form element for example if you are using a drop down list or an option button so if you are trying to change any value in the form element then on change event you can write the on change event on submit submit event only occurs when the user submits a form to a web page if you are trying to submit the form to the web page this event will occur and then last one we are going to we'll be discussing about is the document window event document or a window event okay this is on load and on and load so on load means what on load means uh, the load event occurs when a web page has finished loading in the web browser that is, if you are trying to load something, by loading your web page itself, you have to show some message or alert to the user, then you can use on load. And on unload event occurs when a user leaves the current web page. And the another important thing which you can use is on resize. Okay, so on resize event occurs when a user resizes the browser window. The resize event also occurs in situations when the browser window is minimized or maximized. So that is what on resize. So we'll be discussing about all these windows that is uh, event handlers in our session.